In 1977, two robotic explorers were launched to journey farther than any human-made object had ever gone, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2. These twin spacecraft were built to study the outer planets, but their real destiny was something far greater, to leave our solar system entirely and become the first messengers of humanity in interstellar space. While Voyager 1 has long been celebrated as the farthest human-made object from Earth, Voyager 2 has always carried something Voyager 1 didn't, a working camera system. For decades, scientists debated whether to keep it operational, because transmitting images from billions of miles away consumes precious power. But before parts of the spacecraft were shut down to conserve energy, Voyager 2's cameras were tasked with one last mission, to take a final image beyond the heliosphere. That image, captured in deep space, was unlike anything we had ever seen. At first glance, it appeared as nothing more than a faint blur, a few scattered points of light against the blackness. But when NASA scientists enhanced the data, something strange emerged. The photograph contained geometric patterns, shapes that didn't belong in natural starlight. The anomalies weren't random pixels. They resembled structured arcs and spirals, aligned too perfectly to be dismissed as noise. It looked almost as if something enormous, an artificial structure, was lurking just beyond the edge of our solar system. For years, this image was quietly filed away, classified under unexplained artifacts. But then, just recently, new AI-driven image processing was applied to the archived data. The result shocked even the most skeptical scientists. The picture seemed to contain symbols, patterns resembling mathematical sequences repeating across the frame. What Voyager 2 had captured in its final moments of imaging wasn't just empty space. It was a message, a clue, or perhaps a warning written in the stars themselves. When researchers fed the enhanced image data into advanced decoding algorithms, the results were chilling. Instead of random static, the system identified binary sequences embedded in the light patterns. Numbers, long chains of zeros and ones, hidden in the photograph. The first decoded sequence revealed prime numbers, the universal fingerprint of intelligence. No natural cosmic event arranges light into prime sequences. Someone, or something, had placed them there. The second sequence was even more terrifying. When converted into a visual grid, it resembled a spiral map, eerily similar to the golden ratio, the mathematical constant found in seashells, hurricanes, galaxies, and even DNA. It was as if the image was pointing to a universal signature, a pattern of life and creation itself. But the third sequence, that was the one that scared the world. When decoded, it formed a crude outline of a planet, our planet, Earth. Surrounding it were orbital paths, some marked with clear intersections. In other words, it was a diagram showing Earth in relation to other celestial bodies. The unsettling part, several of those intersections matched the known paths of near-Earth asteroids. The implication was staggering. Voyager 2's final image wasn't just random light, it was a warning. Debates erupted across the scientific community. Was this simply pareidolia, humans seeing meaning in randomness, or had Voyager 2 truly intercepted a message written into the fabric of starlight? Some suggested the image was a beacon, a way for an advanced civilization to embed communication across space without using radio. Others warned that if this was intentional, it could mean Earth had been noticed, mapped, and marked. 
Governments moved quickly to keep the details quiet, but fragments leaked. Whistleblowers claimed the decoded image was being studied under a project called Echo Lens, designed to see if the message correlated with any incoming celestial threats. The chilling conclusion? If the interpretation was correct, the final image from Voyager 2 wasn't just a photo. It was a cosmic postcard with a dire message that Earth's time may be running out. Once the existence of the decoded image leaked, panic spread. Online forums lit up with speculation. Was this proof of extraterrestrials? Was it a natural cosmic signal we were only now learning to recognize? Or worse, was it an omen of an impending catastrophe? NASA remained cautious, publicly dismissing the decoded patterns as data artifacts. But independent researchers continued to uncover unsettling details. The orbital intersections shown in the image matched predicted asteroid approaches in the 2030s and 2040s. One of them aligned eerily with the trajectory of Apophis, the massive asteroid expected to pass dangerously close to Earth in 2036. Even more unnerving was the fact that the golden spiral pattern in the image wasn't random. It lined up with radio bursts Voyager 2 had detected before its final transmissions weakened. The bursts came in rhythmic pulses, almost like a heartbeat, echoing the same ratios embedded in the image itself. This wasn't just visual data. It was multi-layered communication. The fear was undeniable. Humanity's farthest probe had sent back evidence that someone, or something, was out there, watching, leaving a trail of warnings for us to discover. If true, it means we are not alone in the universe, but it also means we've been marked, monitored, and perhaps even tested. For now, Voyager 2 drifts silently, its power dwindling, unable to send us more. Its final image remains both a gift and a curse, a message we cannot fully understand, but one that whispers of danger and inevitability. So, what do we do with this knowledge? Do we prepare for the possibility that Earth is facing an unseen threat? Or do we dismiss it as coincidence too afraid to accept the terrifying truth. One fact is certain. Voyager 2's final image has forever changed how we see the universe. It has shown us that space is not empty. It is filled with patterns, intelligence, and perhaps warnings we were never meant to find. And now, humanity must face the question that has haunted us for centuries. If the universe is speaking to us, are we ready to listen?